everybody! So today, as you saw by the title, I am doing a realistic desk tour. So before you even ask, no I haven't cleaned up like anything on my desk. This is what my desk always looks like. I wanted it to be kind of, you know, real and relatable because um, my desk is always messy and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. Alright, so here's a quick little overview of my desk area. Um, I'm gonna only be going through like what's on top and what I'll tell you what's in all the drawers. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so starting here, um, as you can see, I have my TV on my desk. And then I also have my laptop here. Um, it rarely ever moves from that spot except when I'm going to my bed or I'm going to a different room of the house or, you know, just going somewhere else. Um, and then right down here in this little like corner, I keep uh, a couple bags that I just want to keep near my desk. And uh, this, I just haven't emptied it yet, so it's just chilling there. Uh, I'm gonna sit down really fast to show you what's in the drawers. So this top drawer, um, this is a pretty random drawer. Um, it has a lot of stationery and stuff in it. Uh, I have paper clips, I have my, uh, my Tombow brush pens, which I love, by the way. And I have my old bullet journal, uh, I have these, I have paper clips and push pans, cough drops, you know, stapler, the whole deal. And then I'm not going to open this one because there's stuff in there that will definitely fall out if I open it. Um, but that is just full of books and little knickknacks and things I didn't have another place for. Alright, so we'll move right over here. So as you guys can see, I use the bucket organization method where you have different buckets on your desk or different bins or whatever for different things. Um, I don't mind clutter. Uh, if you're a person that minds clutter, don't do this. Uh, maybe have a couple little bu buckets on your desk, but not as many as I have. So, and you'll also, on my desk you'll see a lot of little stuffed animals. I just like to decorate that way. That's just me. Uh, so this bin is full of pens. It has my Sharpies, my Jelly Roll pens, my Stadler pens, uh, Triplus rollers, and Triplus fine liners. Um, just some black pens, I have all of my multi burl pens, and I also have this one random gel pen, which I had no other spot for. <laughs> then right here, I have my coaster, it's always here, and uh, right now I have two drinks, I have water and coffee, which is usually what I always have. Um, over here I have two little stuffed animals, this is from when I was a baby, and this is one of two sock monkeys I have on my desk. If I move right back here into this beautiful blue bucket, I, this is my highlighter bin. Um, this is where I keep all of my highlighter mercury types. Um, and I also, in the back here, I have uh, Pigma Micron pens, which are there because they had no other spot. <laughs> then if we go right back here, I have Albert, my bamboo plant, who is definitely dying. I uh, tried to save him, couldn't do much. Uh, I have a little dots box that my drum major of marching band made for uh, everyone in the band on the day of the competition. I kept it because it was cute, he put a little message on it. Um, I have my tape dispenser, I have my, oh, have my bottle cap, let's get that out of here. I have my mini stapler, which is usually in my pencil bag during the school year, but since school is out for the summer, I'm um, just keeping it on my desk so I have easy access to a stapler if I need it. Um, right here, I have three different lip care items. I have an EO, EOS, EOS, I call it EOS, uh, lip balm. I have a baby lips, and I have this banana one. I also have one of these, which you plug into your headphone jack, and it's like a little uh, pointer thing for your phone. A little, I forget what they're called. The word is fleeting from my mind. Anyway, I uh, recently organized this bin. This is my stickers and paper bin. Uh, this is where I keep all of my stickers and post-it notes. Um, I also have some more post-it notes elsewhere on my desk, which I'll show you. Um, this is also where all my stickers are. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of stickers. I love some stickers. I also have rulers. I have some notepads and I have an old calculator and I keep my scissors in this bin as well. I also have another pair over there. Uh, right down here, I have just these little reindeer, um, they're Dasher apparently, uh, my cat's name is Dash, so my aunt gave me these, my aunt also made me this, it's a little felt kitty, I love cats, favorite animal, they're the best, 
Uh, and then this is my eye point pencil sharpener. Um, I don't use wood pencils that often, but when I do, that comes in handy. This bin right here is just for various pens. Uh, again, uh, I have in there Stubby Loaf fine liners. I have Sugar Rush gel pens. I have some Pilot pens, uh, just like normal black pens, Paper Mate, Lay pens, and yeah. Right here is my piggy bank. Um, I keep it here just because I'm usually at my desk, so it's easiest to have it near me, I guess. Uh, right here is a bunch of like squishy things because um, I'm a fidgety person and so sometimes I need something to fidget with, I guess. Um, before anyone says anything, I do have a fidget spinner, so don't, don't even tell me to get one. <laughs> uh, this bin in the corner um, also houses my other pair of scissors. I have so many scissors, it's ridiculous. And it also houses all of my pencils uh, that I keep on my desk. Um, I don't use pencils that often, I prefer pens, but when I do use pencils, I like to use these ones. Uh, if you haven't used them, they're from Paper Mate, and they are called the Clear Point, and they are very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, moving on to this corner. This little corner here is just like my uh, most used items corner, I guess. Um, it's where I have my sketchbook, my journal, my bullet journal, and two things of pens that I use very often. Uh, I have my UB brush pens, and, oh, if I can get them out, I can't even get them. My Pilot Juice pens, which are my two faves. Uh, right down here, I have my thing of binder clips, and I also have a pencil sharpener in the corner. That's mostly for colored pencils. And then this is my three-tiered organizer. Um, one of them's backwards, one of the bottom's backwards, but that one is for page flags and paper clips. The middle one is for push pins, um, and the top one is for uh, assorted binder clips. Um, highly recommend these if you have a lot of little things to organize. Right here I have the majority of my push pins um, in this little jar. I also have these cute uh, cupcake erasers and some more post-its. Um, right here I have a hand sanitizer. This is my washi tape collection over here with one out of two of my geode bookend pairs. In this corner, uh, in the very back of this corner, I have my milk crates. The top milk crate is for CDs and discs. And then this bottom one is just for um, papers and old books and stuff like that. Um, over here is my lamp that is not working right now, which is sad. It's okay though. Right in the back corner right here, that's my bookmark box. Um, I used to collect bookmarks, which is weird, but I used to collect like free bookmarks that I would get. <laughs> That's probably really weird. Anyway, this is like my random garbage bin. Um, there's some pencils, some colored pencils, some decorative colored pencils. Uh, there's just there's just a lot in there. Uh, right back here is one of my dead plants. Uh, Carl has since been removed, but I still have the pot, and I'm planning on putting another plant in there. I have my little Tigger toy. He's he's a cutie. He's an Easter Tigger. And then this is Steve, my cactus. Um, right back here is my second geode bookend pair that I just keep on my desk for decor. And then uh, right here, I have a good luck charm from when I went to Japan. Um, I just keep it on my desk because it gives off good vibes. Uh, this one is for random older pens um, that are still usable. There's also some whiteout in here and some more little stuffy toys or whatever. Right here is my, it, this is like a little toy bin, and it also has, if I can get one out, these little uh, decorative tapes that my aunt got me. I don't use them as much anymore, I use washi tape, but I still like these anyway. And then right over here, this is my bin of duct tape. Um, I used to do a lot of duct tape, like art and stuff. I don't anymore as much, but it's there. Um, right here, this is where I keep my things that are relevant to now. So during the school year, I keep um, all of my like textbooks over here, and I always have my loose leaf paper here and any other important papers that I need to remember. Uh, right now, I have my SAT book. I have gum, obviously. 
uh, always an essential. Um, I have two notebooks right here that I'm using to do uh, some Japanese. Uh, under here I have just some, you can't even see them. There's one of them. I have just three little notebooks that I don't have a place for yet. And then I have my AP music theory study book. Right here I keep all of my post-it notes and index cards that I'm not currently like using. Um, I usually keep one little pad of post-its in that little red bin right there. I have one orange pad in there right now. But these are all my extras. Um, and I've got my index cards and everything. All right, so these three drawers, I got a cover up name here. Uh, I have just a bunch of random stuff, pencils, my old phone, tape, beads it looks like, and a bunch of old like thank you cards and everything. Then this one is my unorganized art supply drawer. Um, this is just where I keep all my old art supplies. Um, fun fact, this pencil case has a bunch of silly bands in it from when I used to collect those. Uh, so that's fun. Oh, can't close it. All right, and then this bottom one, not gonna open it, but it is full of old papers and old art pieces and old, old everything. So yeah, that was the desk tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you really want to. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.